Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today I wanted to unbag my little Fabletics piece because I have this like dilemma. So I wanna have like a lazy day and not do anything. But today is like the day I was planning on washing my bed sheets hair washing day, clipping the nails down, kind of just like a, you know, reset for the month type of day. <laughs> I wanted to do 12, 3.30 at the gym today, our little fitness center. I wanted to take content for Fabletics. Like there's just a lot of stuff I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna have to force myself to do it as well as editing the vlog. I haven't posted a video in like six days. So I need to edit this. This is like the UCF football game, taking Piper to the park and it not being open like that vlog. I have a lot to do, but don't feel like doing anything. They're not like hard tasks, but it is what it is. Unmotivated, I guess, is the best way I can put it. Oh, it's Chef Green this time, not HelloFresh. So first up, we have this really cute burgundy uh, pullover. Look at the color. This like just screams fall, screams welcome to September. It's actually like a really high quality material too and then next up are these leggings how cute are they color combo complements each other and it matches perfectly with this i definitely need to wear a bra with this because it is way too hot to be doing at 12 through 30. i'll probably like throw on a white or black sports bra like one of the fabletics ones i received in the past Really cute, I'm glad I got to show you guys. I've been waiting to unbag this because I need to show all of you guys what I got. This is the outfit and I think it's so cute. These leggings are super durable, like they're very good quality. Like they could definitely make it in the dryer, which is good. I paired it with this Fabletics um, white top because it didn't really like come with a top, but it works. And then I just have my burgundy jacket right here. And I'm going to take like photos, but over at the gym, hopefully like not a lot of people are there. I don't really know. But first I'm gonna finish watching Emily's a little vlog that I have going on over there. We looking and feeling good. Okay, so it's actually kind of busy in here, but no one's in this room. So thank God. I was like, oh my gosh, like I like walked in and it's like silent and there's a lot of people like almost all the treadmills are taken but i'm gonna just do my ab exercise first and then jump over there anyway hopefully i can get some good pictures hopefully no one just like randomly comes in here if so it's fine anyway um yeah let's try to get some pics definitely not in this one i'm gonna try to get some pics here and it is Sunday morning and Piper and I are in Cherry's car because honestly I didn't want to use my gas but we're going to Starbucks so I'm going to get the fall pumpkin chai drink um it's not mine it's the one on the featured menu on the app like I didn't do any alterations to the drink or anything. So basically, like, I swear to God, she knows where the camera is because she, like, just came into frame. Look at her. Piper. Smile. Okay, or not. I just got the generic, uh, like, seasonal chai that has pumpkin cream cold brew because I just want to try that one. And then I'll be satisfied and I can see which one I like better for the fall time, pumpkin spice latte or this chai. I think I like the chai better, honestly, because with the pumpkin um, flavor, I just don't really like um, coffee with it, if that makes sense. Because coffee gives a little bit of a burnt taste with the pumpkin, and I just like to honestly enjoy the pumpkin. And this time we're gonna go to the one in downtown celebration, not the other one on like 192, because they're all out of like the chai and I'm like that's the main reason why I wanted to go to try this drink. We're gonna go. We're gonna have to get out of the car and pick up our drinks but that's fine. I would get Piper a pup cup but I don't know I don't want to make her fat so she's not gonna get a pup cup. 
forgot the farmer's market was happening down here. That's probably why it's a little bit more crowded. Oh my gosh, come on. So I got the goods. Got them right up there. It is so hard to take her and like get stuff. I didn't even get B-roll inside the th place because it was kind of busy and everything. So yeah, but anyway, I love taking her, but I also hate it because it's like hard to juggle like literally everything. Okay, I honestly do not like this car because there's no like good place to put the vlog camera. I guess this is good, but I hate this thing being here. All right, now I'm gonna do a taste test because you can tell this has been sitting out. I'm gonna take the mother's drink before it spills. Shoot, I don't know where to put this. Ah. Okay, hopefully that stays. I cannot stand when like there's no like clear cup holders because there's like nowhere to put anything. Okay, hopefully, okay, there's barely anything left in that. We can put that down there. Let's try the taste test. Please be good. It tastes, I'm gonna agree with Emily Nelson, Enchanted Emily, or Emily Enchanted, I forget her name. But it does taste like pumpkin milk. I mean, it is chai, so, you know. I didn't wanna like do any customizations because I wanted it to be like the drink on the menu. So I would add an extra pump of chai, or she's right, maybe even a shot of espresso, but I wouldn't wanna get that burnt flavor. Yeah, I don't know, but the pumpkin cream cold foam is very good and the topping is really good. It could just, it could use something a little bit stronger for the palette. But overall, I like this one, I think a little bit better than the pumpkin spice latte, in my opinion, just because I'm a chai girly. I love coffee. If it's boiling down to it, I love chai, but obviously chai is like really fattening, so I don't typically get them. It's kind of just like a fun treat for me. All right, so we're just heading out because we're gonna go like Halloween shopping for like our front porch, I guess. And then we have this reservation at like 8 p.m. for dinner. Sherry said that was the only time available. But I got a fun, exciting package. My book! Oh my gosh, this is so small. I'll probably like finish this in no time. It's called Sickened. It was about like a lady whose mom had Munchausen by proxy. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I've been waiting to read this book ever since I heard about it. I'm gonna stop reading my other books just to read this one. Our poor dog. Where did it go? I see the tail. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, sorry, Piper. Mothers haven't been in the vlogs for a bit. Sherry, say hey. Hi, hi everyone. Here's Valerie. Hey. Look at how little her jacket's looking on her. <laughs> I mean, not little, but big, because she's lost some weight. It doesn't look that big, does it? No, I was just paying you a compliment. Oh. <laughs> Made it to Lowe's. This is our first stop to see. Welcome to Lowe's. Yeah, well, welcome to Moe's. <laughs> we want to see the Halloween decor here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys what we picked up. So we're gonna get these skulls here. Then we have um, some lights. These are like purple LEDs. We got this tombstone. We got these to put in front of our little walkway. And then this is our third tomb, our second tombstone. Valerie's excited because this is her project. Uh, yes. Valerie, where are we now? Next stop. We are at Party City. Oh yeah. Nobody has more party for less because it says it. Yeah. Poor Piper, I've tortured this dog. But anyway, we've got Piper's little Halloween costume. Oh, so cute. Last but not least, we are headed into the Halloween store. Lots of costumes here. You could be Wednesday Adams. This looks like a brain. Valerie's met her match with the skeletons here. <laughs> Valerie got this to match the dog. I have my scream hat that I wear every year that I pass out candy. So we're gonna try Piper's Halloween costume on. I'm so excited. And then the paws. All right, Piper, you're gonna have to do this for mom. That's a good girl. Ow. Hello. Wait, it is pretty stretchy. She's also not holding still. Get one paw in. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, Piper. Yes. This is so cute. I cannot get over it. Hold on, Piper. Look, it's on her. It fits. Oh, it's so cute, Piper. Oh my God. Just hold it here. Girl, yeah. We just need one more leg. One more leg, girl. We need one more yes. leg. Oh. Ah! They're so cute! Oh, you are 
are so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> she hates us right now, but look at her costume. Apparently dogs also get zoomies because they're stressed. Oh my God. But look how cute Piper, she is. You look so good. So we made it to Disney's Contemporary Resort now. We have been planning on coming back to Steakhouse 71 ever since we have eaten here. So basically we planned like one day and then we had to move it and then we planned another day and then we had to move it again. So this is the third time we're finally getting to eat here. So yeah, it's good. And I'm backlit once again. <laughs> Man, guys, it's a sad day when you do not get ID'd. I guess I look old. All right, the drinks have arrived. Sherry, what did you get? I got a white Russian. A white Russian, just like the cat, like Steve. Then we have, I got my Pinot Noir. It is the um, Mac Murray. And then Valerie got a Riesling. She's doing her Facebook post. All right, so I reviewed my vlog from like five months ago. I have no idea what I got. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the wild mushroom. I think that's what I got last time. I reviewed the vlog and I didn't find it. But I'm definitely getting the filet mignon. And I don't think they do fries, because last time I got the garlic mashed potatoes and the um, charred asparagus. I do want to try the mac and cheese though, but I don't know. I think I wasn't impressed the last time. Forgot to vlog Cherry's food, but she got a wedge salad like last time. All right, and for dessert, I got the creme brulee. Mothers are gonna have a little taste. Also, this is a note for Alex when I reviewed this video, like in six months from now. I liked the mushroom sauce. Just wanted to like throw that in this video because I reviewed the other video and I didn't say that, but I like the mushroom sauce. And the mac and cheese. Get the mac and cheese, not the mashed potatoes. It's the next day, we made it to Cycle Bar with Kyra. Oh, backlit again. Two, final set right here. Good. One quarter adds on, three, two, one. Ride was good, and now we're going to get some breakfast brunch. Probably not sable, and coffee. And mimosas. Kyra's in heaven. Cheers. <laughs> Right, we made it to the beach and this is it the tide is pretty high as you can tell like over there like it's crazy it's a beautiful perfect day for the beach and a fun fact I learned is I guess it's the most common place to get, uh, that women can get skin cancer is the legs so always don't forget the legs when you're putting on your sunscreen that's pretty much it we're probably gonna take some pictures but overall I do not want sand touching this camera because you guys know what happened to the last time to my old G7X I had to like literally punch it to get all the sand out so, yes, uh, we'll not be getting, if I do get footage, it'll probably be mostly on the phone. And then when we take pictures and stuff, then I'll use this. So we're taking pictures by this coconut tree. We have to stand here because there's um, turtle dunes over there. So we got some good pics. Check out cars. In oh wait, it's private. Never mind. Don't check it out. It's not private anymore. Oh, I thought you had it on private. It was. I am private. Okay, because you have some really good photos now. She wants to share. So follow her at Kyra Anise, right? Yeah, Kyra underscore Anise. Anise. Okay. Yeah, I'll put that on the screen somewhere. <laughs> So we've come to the avenues now, and we're just walking around. Um, my friend got a little smoothie. Yeah, it's a really beautiful day, so we're just chilling out and walking around. Came into Books a Million. Oh my gosh, the pride pack. Should get that for my parents. I didn't vlog the food, but I got a salad. My friend got a salad. 
Kyra got her flatbread, oh my gosh, everywhere they've been like closed or open late. <laughs> but she finally got one and it says pesto on it. It would not be a true vlog if Steve did not grace the screen. I love Steve. He's a good boy. Oh, you're the best boy. Kyra's playing with Vincent. Vincent Van Pug. He's a good boy. I love how he heavy breathes. 